forgot to put your hat on. I forgot my son's hat, you guys. I am the worst mom ever. I'm not fit to parent. I have no idea what I'm doing. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Today's vlog is going to be probably the shortest vlog of my vlogmas. Say hi to my husband, who I miss so much. You do it any other time. You do it any other time. Anyway, Sherrod and I are on our way to Kroger to grocery shop because we need food. And that is really all we have planned for the day. Nothing special, just dinner. Are we still doing boneless chicken or... I want to do something else. Did you have something else in mind? I have no idea what we're going to eat for dinner, but I'm trying to eat better. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to live longer. Be healthy. Especially because in a few years, Sherrod and I will be 30 or in our 30s. So, well, yeah, in a few years. So, we're trying to eat much better, especially because we are the type of people who, once we have dinner, we go lay down. It's a car day. Do you like the ombre fringe better or do you like these? Oh. You like the ombre better? That even made me feel bad. Why? Because I like these better. I like when you like my stuff. Oh, what? Yeah. My phone. Do you need to go back? No. Sure. I'm positive. Right here. Baby, it's not that deep. We don't. I mean, we're like halfway from Kroger too. I just thought I had it, but. What bad happened to that? So, I saw you. Oh, there we go. Brought my car glasses in the house by accident. I really could have sworn I had my phone though. I really thought I did. Motherhood Chronicles. We always have the diaper bag. Does anybody have a better suggestion for a diaper bag? Because this is bulky and it's heavy and it is a backpack, but it's just always so heavy. So, if anybody has a better way, a solution to carry their mom stuff, let us know. Oh, good babe. Look how good the lighting is out here because of that. Not bad. Green bananas. Is this enough to last for the week? Make sure it's like tomato. Let me see if it's tomato sauce or tomato paste. Okay. This is good. tomato paste is good for spicy foods when you use tomato paste and chili. They don't have like a large paste. Grocery shopping. This is fun. It's actually kind of relaxing and Prince is being totally calm right now. Babe, do you like grocery shopping with your wife? Yes. Cream is not a snack, babe. <laughs> Somebody tell him it is not a snack. Say, Prince, say it's not a snack. No, no. Guys, look at the Christmas kitty books. Aww. I love Christmas time. Guys, look at the makeup. Look at this. Christmas, Christmas. Babe, we gotta get one of these. One of the gingerbread houses. But I'll probably get one from Target, not from here. Ooh. There are two flavors. And guess what the two flavors left are? Grape and watermelon. You guys, we're in the store right where it happened. Remember, Excuse babe, what happened? What? I told them. I forgot my wallet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right here where it happened. Reporting live. Because I just had to remind Sherrod that whatever I throw in the cart is what we leave with. Yeah, okay. I'm the one to scan that at the end of the day. <laughs> We're going to the pastries, aren't we? Duh. I knew it. Where's your soda? 
in the car. Ooh, guys, it's my favorite section right here. You guys know I love me a good spirit. My man remembered his wallet, you guys. We are at checkout, and don't be alarmed. If you guys saw our cart, we don't have any vegetables in the cart today, but we have so many at home, frozen fresh and canned. Hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. What are you doing? <laughs> We just left the grocery store. Sherrod is actually putting up the groceries in the trunk. I am not allowed to put up groceries when we leave the grocery store, says him. But we were just talking about how expensive groceries have gotten. Obviously, since COVID, everybody's been hit like really hard, but like just your average every things are so much more money now, which is crazy. And thank God we're still able to eat. But when we were leaving, somebody left all these coupons for like actual groceries that him and I actually purchase often like are you too good for coupons I'm just kidding but I was like I can definitely use these like there's like a Tazo tea brand that I always purchase and like delivery for grocery shopping which I've never actually had my groceries delivered only because I don't actually trust anyone to do it correctly or like I have to make sure like if I order bananas are you going to get the same like bananas that I would pick stuff like that so I've never actually done that but you know Sherrod is providing all the groceries and I'm going to go home and cook for him because I do enjoy cooking for him a lot remember that conversation we had you guys you know, I'm a, I've always been like open about being like a very like traditional wife and like enjoying like the woman, what is seen as like the woman role. But I know a lot of people look at that as like being weak. Remember that conversation we had last night? Yeah. You think it's weak, babe? No. I like cooking for him. Like I feel like if he goes to work all day, why can I not cook for him? Like. I think that's completely okay like to have a man who wants to be a provider and wants to do like a, like what is seen as like a masculine role and I don't think there's anything wrong with like women wanting to like stay at home and like just you know not be so like tough and everything I feel like it's our marriage and it works for us and mostly it's just our business you know 100 percent. but i just really don't see how people think that's weak like i feel like a lot of us grew up with grandmothers who more than likely stayed at home if they have more than one child like raising kids is not something somebody weak is able to do so raising kids ain't an easy job not at all so for somebody to sit, sit back and say like if a woman like stays at home and stuff like that and like raises kids like that's weak and stuff like that like that so are your are your mothers weak like i get like working is cool if that's for you if you want to go to like a nine to five or a corporate job or something like if that's in your card i don't know i like working i'm not gonna lie i've had jobs but i really like this time right now like as hard as it is as hard as it is I'm not gonna complain because I will never get this time back with my kids. They'll never be this small again. Would you like to stay home with the kids? <laughs> They'll probably, probably drive you crazy. <laughs> I would try it, but probably I probably wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah, yeah. It is a lot mentally. Like it, it can be draining. I don't really have much else for this vlog, you guys. I did the best I could. I'm sorry. All we had to do today was go to the grocery store. Hey, it don't matter. Like, tell somebody else to get on here and like and subscribe. Make sure y'all go watch videos. I know y'all ain't about to have nothing to do. <laughs> and if you are somebody who is out of school at this time, tell your friends. Is it winter break yet? It's about, for college students, it's about to be. Oh, yeah. For sure. High school, the high school students are about. In high school, I thought we got out like the week of Christmas. Like a oh, couple, we days, a couple prior. days before. Yeah, we get yeah. out a couple days before Christmas. Honestly, you guys, I don't miss being in high school at all. Like, I love being an adult and having my own freedom. But, like, thinking back on high school, just you thought you were grown. You were free from all responsibility. You know, like, it was, I mean, I, I do reminisce about it sometimes. Like, I know you reminisce about that sometimes. Heck yeah. So. Man. But like he said, don't forget to like this video, leave a positive comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching us. 
and more than likely we'll be back together tomorrow or the next day or whatever yeah. for my next vlogmas video i love vlogmas i love it i am about to go I'm actually loading up some new books on my bookshelf, you guys. I get out of control at these library sales, but I'm going to go make dinner, and I have my glass for the night. I am going to donate these two books to a little free library, so I know somebody's going to be happy. I do not have a copy of It Ends With Us. I actually purchased a copy for my friend for her birthday. I never bought a copy for myself. So if you haven't read It Ends With Us, read that before you read this. But whoever is lucky is going to get, because I know as soon as I put these in the little free library, like somebody's going to snatch them up. You guys, sorry this vlog was so short today. Bye. Bye.